Hi, we're making a tutorial about um, window managers and in uh, Mate Tweak, a program that we can install, we can uh, select a lot of them. In another tutorial, we went over the specific configuration file we can use for Marco Compton GPU, which is going to look like this. And when we have, like for instance, you see already that things are going to be transparent and when they're not focused they darken so things like that um, that's because of our Compton file and now we're up to we're not going to check out the compass configuration file so there is no file as such but we do have as you can see this effect everywhere the shadows are present as you can see conky is present transparency is available for the terminal so what can we do next? Are there other stuff? So yes, there is the Compass Config Settings Manager. You should install and it's a very advanced tool and I have to caution you, really, it does, it's not, I mean, it, it is necessary to tell people, use with caution, you might break your system like I did because I'm in the learning process. And so I'm try everything and then of course it clashes and then you have a system that's black and you can't use it. So do try this on a test PC, my advice. All right, let's take a look what's possible. Um, general options, desktop size, it's set to four and one, which is good because I have an idea what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a cube. The mate compatibility is on, it's not necessary. As I see it's uh, left on, Alt F1, show menu, Rain, uh, run dialog and made screenshot and all that. Um, like I said, you just can omit it. It's just shortcuts, that's all it is. Um, dim inactive has been added, I see, super P. But um, I'm not sure if that works. So many of these things, you try them out and you say, so what, when do I see it? Where is it available? What have I done now? So it's still a trial and error for me and um, for I think for many people. But let's show what does work, what did work. Alt K, we have to initiate it uh, with Alt K. But I'm on the, uh, well, I said it's working. So do we need it? Um, will we keep it on all the time? I don't think so. It works and then let's go to the desktop cube so that's been activated it's uh, automatic I have a dual screen but uh, I can I've uh, told him now that I have only one screen so I mirror it let's see what happens when I make one big uh, cube but let's check at the settings first rotate rotate cube I would that do that too because we want to be able to control alt left and right to rotate it and one other thing is the 3d windows which is nice and it's one as depth okay let's see and have a look I'm pressing ctrl alt and then the right mouse click um, sorry the left mouse click so ctrl alt and I can leave them off now from the keyboard but my mouse is still left key and this is our cube with some, uh, as you can see, three of them. Uh, now I'm pressing Ctrl Alt left and we're back. Ctrl Alt arrow down is unfold the cube and all these settings are somewhere in your system. It's uh, pop, 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 unfold, I don't know, somewhere up there. So a few of them are there don't really see it at the moment. Here are the wobbly windows and the wizard is also fun to see. But do we use it all the time? I suppose not. This is Alt W. Alt W. Well, so this is quite nice. What does this do? Does this effect double click it, double click it again, minimize it, it's gone. Put it back up. Where is it? Your compass. These fly-in effects are probably coming from the animations, so you can change those as well. There's a water effect you can initiate. Control Super, 
is this, and we have to make it range, shift F9. No, ah, sorry, <laughs> again, control, super is this one, so super is Windows, and shift F9 is this one. Now something should happen. It's raining on my computer. I'm very happy now. So, voila, that's that. And so these things here, you can do kind of sh silly things. Shift super button one, so shift super button one. So these things, it's even nicer when you put the particle size to random color fire. That's even nicer. Then you have this kind of elements. And again, you can share, like for instance, I've done an, another tutorial, I think on Arch or something like that. I said, look, guys, I'm gonna write my name on the screen. That's, is that, is that great or what? I don't know. Look. And a bit artistic. So these things can be done. Um, will it improve your workflow? I don't think so, but it's there, it's compass, you can use it. And this is of course quite nice. You see it often when this cube, uh, it's it's admirable that it's so fast on a, an older computer. So that's uh, just uh, great, let's say. Okay, this is compass, be careful, be careful. Um, there's a tip I can give you, this one very good tip. Something goes wrong, hard reboot, and reset Compass immediately without uh, delay. Have fun using Compass.